In this tutorial in CyberLink Color Director, I'd like to show you how you can start your video out in black and white and then bring in only the red tones and after a while then bring in the other colors in your color spectrum. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. I'd like to show you a somewhat finished version of this clip and then we'll show you how we created it using Color Director. I've taken my clip of the flags flying in the breeze and placed it on track number one. I could start out directly in Color Director, but I'm going to start out in Power Director because that's the most common way to get there. So I highlight the clip and then I click on the Tools button above the timeline. And down here I have an option that says Color Grading by Color Director. I'll click on that and it will launch the Color Director program. It will load the files and because I've had that file highlighted already, it does bring it into my timeline. Now what we're going to focus on is keyframing the colors so only the reds come in first and then the rest of them. So I'm going to be looking at the saturation values to accomplish this. I need to highlight that. I see the little right arrow. I'll click on that. That will expand all of my saturation values for my various colors. But I'm going to have to keyframe this and I don't have my keyframe controls visible. To make that happen I click on the clock to the right of the preset tab at the top. It will open up my panel of my keyframes for my color controls. Now here again I can adjust this any way I want. If I hold the left mouse button I can tighten it up or I can expand and see the timeline in rather contracted or expanded, however I like it. And we're going to begin by setting some values to start with. I'm going to set some keyframes at the very beginning. And to do this, I'm going to take the color value of all the colors and drag the slider back to a minus 100 for each one of them. That will give me the effect of a black and white because it pulls out all the saturation. You notice when I do that, it sets a keyframe for each of those. Then we'll move into our clip. Let's go in about two-thirds of the way. You can use this slider also to see where you are in your time scale relative. And I'm going to just change the red value. So I'm going to set a keyframe and I can do it simply by moving the slider that will set a keyframe on the red value. I'm going to move it back to zero. Now I can slide it here or I can move the double arrows over the numbers to adjust it. And if I want to tweak it, and I do, I can use the up and down values, the little arrows, to get exactly to zero. So that's back to normal. Now I also want to set the values on the other keyframes, on the other colors. And to do that, I will just click on the diamond to set the keyframes. Those will remain at a minus 100. That's important. And so now I have the red value coming in and the other colors are black and white. So let's move farther in toward the end of the video. And now we're going to set color values again. I don't have to modify the red, but now I'll take the other values and move the saturation up to near zero on each of them. And I'm going to pause this video while I tweak each of these numbers by clicking the up and down arrows to get exactly to zero. Now I've adjusted all the other values to be zero at this keyframe. So I'm going to close this window by clicking on the clock so we have more room to view our video. We'll go to the beginning of the clip and let's see what happens. Okay, you see the red coming in slowly. 
and now it's approaching full saturation value only on the reds it stays that way and then now you see the greens and the other colors beginning to come in and now we have full saturation value for all of the pixels on the screen at the end so that's how you can bring in one color and then move later on in the time frames to bring in the rest of the colors in CyberLink Color Director.